creep up on a girl like that. You okay? You look down in the dumps. You shouldn't push yourself so much. You weren't the healthiest kid, you know? Do you have to keep reminding me? It's been ages since I've been sick. I know, but I still can't help but worry. I still appreciate it. But I'm worried, too. About what? That do-gooder nature of yours. In case you've forgotten, it's what got us into this mess. Maybe you shouldn't have come in the first place. I'm here for my own reasons, thank you. Like what? Those Spyrexes are trouble. I want to destroy them. Because Mila said so? That's part of it. But I've actually seen one before. Seriously? It was a really long time ago. I know how terrifying those things are. Why are you trying to destroy the Spyrexes in the lands of Kresnik? Because Mila said so? N no that's not why. If you need a reason... You don't have one? I, I do. I'd just rather keep it to myself. All right. You know, destroying the Lance of Kresnik is the last thing on our to-do list. Huh? What are your plans afterward? Will you head back to Fenmon and finish becoming a doctor? Or will you come home to Laronde? I haven't had a chance to decide yet. One thing at a time. We just need to finish what we've started. Yeah. You're right. Let's finish this job together. You got it. I wonder what Mila's going to do when this is all over.
All healed up? Don't worry about it. It was my slip-up. Yeah, but still. Huh? You having problems casting spirit arts lately? I failed like a million times by now. You too? It's like the spirits aren't even there to help us anymore. Just like back at Fenmont. I bet this is the Lance of Kresnik's influence. Hey, this guy is saying the spirits are disappearing and it's the King of Rashagal's fault. <laughs> you shouldn't joke about such things. The spirits would never leave us. Honestly, do you get a kick out of spreading tall tales? They don't believe me. Of course not. You can't just tell them something like that out of the blue. I guess I'm just a shady guy. The townspeople don't trust me, and neither do you. Hey, that's not true. Oh? I save your life, and suddenly you trust me again? You're still a big fat liar. But a trusting one. Throughout this whole trip, you've never doubted a thing I told you. Even when I said the spirits had disappeared, you believed me on the spot. Because it's the truth. When someone uses a spyric, spirits die. It's cause and effect. What are you trying to say? Well, it's no skin off my nose if spirits wink out of existence. But it's another story if the result is we humans suffer. But spirits are living things too. Listen to you. You're sounding more and more like the great Maxwell every day. That wasn't the point. Don't make fun of me. I'm not trying to. I just mean you've finally started talking like a bona fide grown up. Huh? Like Mila, huh? I wonder if I can protect humans and spirits too. Thanks. <laughs> Times like this, I miss being a kid. Life was so simple. thought we'd end up back here again. It seems like forever ago that you were injured. Have you figured out your mission? What you must do? I... I just want to help you out. I see. But that's not all. I want to protect the spirits as well. You go to such lengths to protect humans. So it's only fair that I become strong enough to protect spirits too. Hmm. You will strive to be our protector. A bold statement. Maybe I've been wrong about humans after all. Hmm? 
I never imagined one of you wanting to protect our kind, let alone making it his mission. I'm almost speechless. I've never felt this happy. Now I really must destroy the Lance of Kresnik, for all our sakes. That reminds me. What are you planning on doing after you've destroyed the Lance? Destroying the Lance and the Spyrex devices is merely one facet of my mission here. My whole reason for existing hasn't changed. So you'll return to Nia Kara and live the way you did before? Most likely. But, but with Exodus around, won't your life still be in danger? Hmm. Also likely. What you need is a bodyguard, someone to watch your back. Are you offering to stay with me? Uh, is that possible? If that's what you decide to do, then you should do it. I'll need to create some story to keep you by my side. Really? Thank you. It's the least I can do. You're the reason I'm standing here right now, preparing to fulfill my mission. I'm the one who should be thanking you. Huh? Oh, no, you don't have to do that. We haven't even gotten to the real fight yet. <laughs> Good point. Oh, just the pair I was looking for. Your wyverns have fully recovered. Let's return to the plaza. Okay. Where's Alvin? He hasn't shown up yet. He's probably figuring out his next lie. That's not true. What does everyone else think of Alvin? Would you feel safe going into battle with him? He's just trying to help out his mom, right? I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff. I worry he himself will be unable to deal with that way of life much longer. <laughs> Don't forget, Alvin was the one who saved me from the bad guys! What do you think? We'll need to keep up our guard around him until he reveals his hand. He remains trustworthy in battle, at least. No, no, it's not polite to talk about someone behind his back. I don't care. What can I say? You guys are my only allies. That makes everyone. Let's be off. Please wait! Rowan, are you really gonna fight with your old buddy? It is my fault that Noctagall became the man he is. I am prepared to fight him when the time comes. You have our support. Don't worry, I'll be right behind you. I've got your back, too! Thank you, everyone. Don't worry, I'll pick up your dentures if you drop them, Grandpa. <laughs> Please do. What, no pithy retort? I guess that means we're all ready. Let's make our final preparations before setting off. Elise, what happened? You're tottering all over the place. I was staring at the windmill, and now the world keeps spinning. Flying was so much fun! The wyverns weren't as scary as I thought they'd be. I'm just glad they didn't eat you. Huh. Too bad they didn't eat Alvin the traitor. Oh, did I forget to mention wyverns only eat children? But they don't eat their flesh. They nibble away at their souls. So gently that the kids don't even notice. While you were enjoying soaring through the sky, most of your soul could have been chewed away. That's a lie. That's total nonsense. Oh, I was right to be afraid. <laughs> they make it too easy.
Thank you for everything. Please return home safely, for my brother as well. You have my word, young madam. Then let's be off. I believe we just need to follow this road to reach Fenmont. Yeah, let's go. And the walking begins. I'm sure you can see why it wouldn't be practical to ride the Wyverns at Defendmont. You'd get spotted right away! Yes, there'd be no avoiding a battle, and civilians would get dragged into it. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. But is it really okay to leave the Wyverns alone like that? They shouldn't have anything to fear from the monsters. Because the monsters are their friends? Oh, no, no. The Wyverns may look docile, but they can be quite tough when they need to be. Monsters aren't their friends. Monsters are their food. Really? Oh, I was right to be afraid! Oh dear, Jude, your clothes are torn. Please, hold still for a moment. Be done in just a jiffy here. Wow, as good as new. Thanks. Nice job. Those are Jude's best clothes, you know. He spent days fretting over exactly what to get. He bought them for his move to Fenmont because he was terrified he'd look like a country bumpkin. Hmm. That's surprisingly adorable of you. Go right ahead. Blab all my secrets. That's a fine story. Please, take good care of them. How did you get to be so good at sewing, anyway? I learned it when I was in the military. Originally, it was just so I could sew up the lips of any of my men who leaked vital information. After that, I took up needlepoint as a hobby. Oh, that's such an embarrassing story, though. Let's keep that a secret between us. <laughs> Guess that's one secret she won't spill. Whenever I enter a place like this, I can't help but imagine someone blocking off the other end. Thank you. 
Ah, oh, what a relief. I should have known things would be fine at the manor. Yeah, Drissel really kept things together. Oh, I knew Lady Drissel would do fine. I have great faith in her strength of spirit. Then what were you so concerned about? I couldn't stop worrying that I had forgotten to shut off my bedroom lamp. You were that worried about a lamp? What if I had caused a fire? I couldn't get the thought out of my mind. I can relate to that. Once the worry sets in, it never leaves. Ever since I left home, I've been wondering if I remembered to close the lid on my bottle of dried gels. I certainly hope you did. Dried gels swell up and burst if they absorb too much moisture. Maybe I should send a letter home and ask Dad to check. We're on our way to pick a fight with a king, and this is what keeps you up at night? shoulder just keeps getting better. Thank you. 
Huh? Is it me or did it suddenly get all dark? That's the night climb. You must be close to Fenmont. Going on. Hey, look! Isn't that the lab? The Lance of Kresnik is in there. Let's go. in Fenmont at last. All thanks to you and the others. Can you believe this is where we first met? That feels like forever ago. I suppose it does. This probably isn't something I need to say again, but... I know. There's no time for waxing sentimental. Right. Are you okay? Mr. Eldon? Doc. Dr. Jude? Lie still. You're hurt pretty badly. Uh, listen to me, Doc. She tricked us. One of the researchers was actually an Ajul spy. When I tried to arrest her, she blew up the entire testing chamber. We'll carry the wounded to the hospital. Come with me. Sounds like Gaius is making his move. We can't waste any more time. <laughs> 